Hello, I'm Alexandra. So today's video is on the inner critic and self-love. And it was inspired by two workshops that I am that I attended, and one is a weekly writing course that I'm in called Free the Writer, which is amazing. And uh it was all about, this week is all about the inner critic, and we did a great exercise that I thought you all might really dig, and essentially you give yourself five to ten minutes and just time it, so kitchen timer, or little timer, whatever, uh, give yourself this space where you won't be distracted, and you write for five, five to ten minutes all of the things that the inner critic says to you. So it's all the voices in our head, it is all of the, write down all the things that um, people have said to you, negative, you know, all the criticisms, just keep writing, just keep your pen moving, 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 and something pops into your head, write it down, pops into your head, just write it down, just keep going. And it, it was amazing to to see all the things that, all the voices that I have, and then also a lot of the criticisms that I've had, you know, uh, from when I was in middle school to being made fun of, being called flat-chested, and, you uh, you know, lies that men have, have said, and uh, it was just, it was really interesting what popped up for me. So I, f I think that this is really important to do, not not to affirm these things, but to really get clear about these voices, because we all have these negative voices, this inner critic within us, and if we're not aware of it, then they just kind of lurk in the darkness, in the background, and, and they stop us in our tracks. They stop us from shining our light, they stop us from taking on challenges and opportunities. So it's really, it's a really good exercise to get intimate with this inner critic and know what negative voices you have swirling in here. Um, so I think it's uh, it's a really great exercise. So I recommend you do that, and then also become aware in your daily life when these voices pipe up. And the more that you can become aware of it and kind of challenge it and say, "That's not who I am," you know, I'm not stupid, I'm not ugly, I'm not fat, I'm not whatever it is. Um, you you have the power to step into your power and and choose and choose to not believe those thoughts and say, you know what, that's not me. That's something my parents said or that's what my first boyfriend said to me or whatever it is. Um, just just become aware of it. And it's a really great exercise. I've been playing with it this week and noticing when, when those voices pipe up. And th when you get the voices, if you're aware, then you can shift it. Otherwise, it just kind of spirals down. And before you know it, we feel crappy and we feel like we can't follow our dreams and we can't do this and we can't do that and it just it spirals out of control so just be mindful of when the inner critic just pipes up there and has a lot of opinions a lot of opinions for you and also it's really uh, another workshop that I did this past weekend was Anatomy of Self-Love which I just think is the best title ever and it was fantastic with Kira Ryder and uh, it was just a reminder to, you know, we all have these voices and we're not alone in this, that, that we have these negative aspects of ourselves or these uh, inner critics and, and criticisms of ourselves, and that we all have it. And then also just a reminder to be gentle, gentle, gentle with ourselves. The workshop was very tender and um, very sweet and it's, it, it was a great reminder for self-love and to really honor ourselves and treat ourselves like we would treat our best friends. I know we've all heard this before, but really, would you talk to yourself? Would you talk to your best friend the way that you talk to yourself? And it's always a good reminder to, no, you wouldn't talk to yourself. And if you also think about it, if somebody criticizes you, you're not like, oh, wow, thank you so much. I'm so inspired. Like, <laughs> I'm now going to go follow my dreams and really rock it. No, a lot of times we feel embarrassed or we feel sad or we feel angry or we feel upset. And it doesn't feel good. Nobody likes to be criticized. So stop criticizing yourself. It, it's not doing you any uh, good. Um, and I know it's a habit. We all have it. And it's kind of our go-to where we just criticize ourselves. But really be mindful of bringing that tenderness and that sweetness to to your life and to how you talk to yourself. And um, Kira this weekend at Anatomy of Self-Love had this great thing that I've been practicing. And it's um, talked. What would it look like if we talked to ourselves like we talked to our dog? And, and we have a little dog, and I love her, and I'm ridiculous. I'm ridiculous. I am all about it, you know. Oh, uh, do you want a treat? Do you want to go for a walk? Oh, you're such a good girl. You know, I mean, like something takes over us, and we turn into this, like, 
love muffin or something. I don't know, but it's really hilarious. So I was thinking, that, imagine it. Imagine if we did that to ourselves, that we looked in the mirror. I'm like, oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so wonderful. <laughs> you're so beautiful. Like, and having that level of playfulness and love and just joy and enthusiasm for who we are. So it's been a reminder every time that I... Uh, Every time that I do this with my dog, which is many times a day, it's a reminder to give myself that same love, level of unconditional love and joy and enthusiasm. So uh, it's pretty hilarious and pretty fun. So anyways, that, that's the video for today. I hope that it uh, was helpful. I hope that you try the inner critic exercise and that you uh, talk to yourself the way that you would talk to your little doggies or your animals and uh, sending you lots of love and have a beautiful day. Mwah.